Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are many filters you can apply to create different artistic effects in your images. You can access the filters by using either the filter command in the menu bar or by using the filters panel. You can apply filters from the menu bar by clicking the filter command in the menu bar and then rolling over a filter category name shown in the drop-down menu to display the filters in that category in a side menu. Then click the name of the filter to apply in the side menu. That will either automatically apply the filter or open a dialog box where you can change the filter settings before applying it. To apply filters by using the Filters panel, select Window, Filters from the menu bar, or if you are using the basic workspace, simply click the Filters button in the lower right corner of the taskbar. You can then use the drop down that appears at the top of the Filters panel to select different filter categories. After selecting a filter category, the filters within that category appear in the area below the drop-down. Click a filter to apply the filter directly to the selected layer. If the layer contains vector graphics, Elements offers to rasterize the layer before it applies the filters. You can click OK in the message box that appears if this is the case to rasterize the layer and then apply the style. The settings of the selected filter will then appear below the selected filter. You can change the available settings, which vary based on the selected filter, to change the filter's appearance. The changes appear in the image as they are set. To finalize the settings you have applied, click the green Commit Filter Effect button. Alternatively, you can click the red Cancel Filter Effect button to cancel the filter. You can also apply a filter by using the Filter Gallery window. To open the Filter Gallery window, select Filter, Filter Gallery from the menu bar. You can adjust the preview of the selected layer by using the controls in the bottom of the leftmost pane. The Filter Gallery lets you apply some of the available filters independently or in layered combinations. You can click an effect category name shown as folders in the middle pane to reveal the individual filter effects within that category. You can then click one of the filters in that category to view its filter settings within the rightmost pane. Then use the sliders, color boxes, and drop downs that appear in the right pane to change the filter settings for the selected filter. You can see how these changes will affect the image by using the image preview within the leftmost pane. In the bottom of the right pane, the name of the filter appears in a layer. You can add another layer to this list to layer the filters by clicking the New Effect Layer button at the bottom of the right pane. This will add another layer that you can click to select. Then you can click another filter effect in the middle pane to apply the selected filter to the layer. Just as with your regular layers, you can click and drag the layers above or below other filter effect layers to change the overall effect produced. You can also delete an effect layer by clicking it to select it, and then clicking the Delete Effect Layer button at the bottom of the rightmost pane. When you are finished, click the OK button at the top of the rightmost pane to apply the filters, or click the Cancel button to close the filter gallery window and not apply any changes. Note that applied effects are not actually added as layers that appear in the Layers panel within the image, but rather they are applied directly to the selected layer's contents. Also, many filters are not applied through the Filter Gallery window. You actually have many more filters that you can apply by using the Filter command within the menu bar, or by using the Filters panel. Before applying any filters, make sure that you do have the correct layer selected in the Layers panel. However, if you make a mistake after applying a filter, just remember that you can use the History panel or the Undo command to reverse your mistakes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.